it's today we are leaving Hayatea. Perfect, perfect timing. Is it time to quit? It's hard to say. Like the perfect sun to stay here. <laughs> We are always saying how tricky it is to navigate like in these very reefy areas or so reef all over and this boat here has some serious reef bite. Look at this. Uh, this is a catamaran yeah, it's in there. Really dead. Wow. But yeah, it's a big job and there's some scars. Yeah, you can see from the scars that it probably hit a reef. We found out this big huge catamaran. 52 feet beautiful boat that we've already seen before in Galapagos and we've heard that uh, the boat the, the mooring bow just broke and the, bo uh, the boat went to the reef and hit like some hotel rooms and that was really bad if you are new here remember to subscribe hit the notification bell and welcome aboard good morning not so great look at this it's ridiculous my hand is just like a balloon Ooh. It's really bad. Hoisting down the dinghy and I grabbed one of the lines and just like felt something and I see that uh, I just like grabbed a, a bee. What are we doing today? I'm suffering. <laughs> You'll be here miserable suffering the whole day? Hmm. Oh boys are so... When they, they get something or they go sick they are so right, like is, spoiled. Oh I'm this. dying. Oh this is god. Just like Blah 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 blah. Emergency room shit, you know, I should go to, I don't know. The hospital? The hospital and like, may maybe I get away from surgery, but I'm not <laughs> sure. <laughs> Good morning guys, today we are leaving Hayatea. We are going back to Papete, we have a few things to do there. It's usually an upwind sail, so we've been, wa uh, we've been watching the forecast a lot. So we could get a better day to get there. It's about 100 miles to Morea, where we're gonna stop first. And how's the weather? According to Windy App, this is the, the perfect day, or at least the best we can ask for. There's no wind, the waves are really low. So we're gonna motor all the way, pretty much. Maybe in the night to have some breeze from north, but I'm not counting on it. Better than just say a upwind, like 100 miles, and just like, bah, bam, 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 splashing bam. all the time. And Pasta, pasta with sardine, with the captain uh, special. Perfect. Nothing much happening right now it's here at Unforgettable. We are just motoring. The breeze is really calm, so it's it's quite good. It's a nice day. We just doing nothing here. That's pretty cool sometimes also, but of course sailing would be better. But it's just like. We're not doing anything at all, it's just like the engine and the autopilot, and that's it. So you can learn to be kind. It was as smooth as it could be, like really, really calm, just sleep most of the time. Small waves, no wings, perfect. Perfect, perfect timing. We arrived, we just anchored and there's like 
some waves coming and I think some rain so we just arrived before the rain that's good so we can rest now perfect timing perfect timing some skull huh? small skull after we cross the Pacific I've I've been feeling really motivated you know uh, one hand that day was probably one of the happiest day of my life after that I just felt like it has been a constant struggle and I don't know perhaps time to do something else because the way you're feeling you know it's just like uh, every day it's struggling with something and with this ever moving life as uh, great that it can sound it can be really restless I miss sometimes I just miss the fact in a, when you live in an apartment that like uh, when it was pouring down rain just shut the windows and sleep for a whole day boat life doesn't give you that and for us it has been four years now I don't know I don't feel like I'm um, exercising enough or hiking or surfing or snorkeling enough you know it looks like there's always something obstructing to do it we lost the dinghy there's no surf buddy and uh, whenever I think about giving up boat life it's just like uh, I feel that I'll be very condemned, everybody's gonna judge me because, you know, it's something that I feel really attached and it, it becomes bigger than my decision and, uh, but it's not, it's not this what should make me carry on, you know, I should keep living in a boat because I love to live on a boat. Is it time to quit? It's hard to say. I, I miss, I miss my friends bad, I miss my family, I miss the convenience of just like having a car and driving anywhere old wise spider-man ankle said remember with great power comes great responsibility if it's true that a boat allows you a lot of things it demands you a lot of things as well so you have to keep up with maintenance and the things with the maintenance which drains my energy is just like it's always the same shit it's not like you have a, a different problem every day. You do have a different problem every day, but the most annoying is just like the same old problems that keep coming back. And that's just like, for, at some point you just don't want to deal with that shit again. It's really hard to to say and to, to expose that because uh, people look at the videos and think, oh my God, what awesome life. And it's indeed an awesome life, but, but there's other things going you know it's just like we we show you where we live but uh, we cannot make drama here and and tell you every day what we miss but I do miss some stuff Hey guys, just wake up, we slept a little bit after we arrived and our mission is to swim with the whales. We saw them outside the pass, we flew the drone and we saw them swimming like so nice, so beautiful, they are such incredible creatures and we're gonna try to swim with them. We have to dinghy all the way outside and then find them to swim. So I hope we can, I hope they are still around and here in this area in Morea they are very uh, often at, at this time of the year there are even like some tour boats that bring people to see the whales we've we've seen them and now they are leaving so that's the perfect time we think they might not be around so we'll be just like us and the whales and maybe just a few more cruisers so let's do it What the fuck is that? <laughs> Man, it, it's always a surprise. I came here to watch the whales and now we find out there's some people living on a capsule uh, like 15 meters underwater and they stay there like in rotations for a few days and then they change. They're researching corals and fish and like the effect on the physiology. So I'm gonna free dive and, and check it out. <laughs> Go 
good luck. Yeah, that's great. Say hello to the guys for me. <laughs> Can you imagine living a cup like No, that? no. I need to check it to, to understand what is this. Go for it. Uh, here, protected from the sun, while we wait for the whales to come. We already called them, we talk in a... Whale language? Whale, yeah, whaleian, whale, whale <laughs> language, whatever. Whalean language? Yeah. yeah but, How is yeah. this language? Ah, it's, uh, it's, it, it takes a while to learn, but... Uh, Can you show us I a little bit? I, I think I've mastered now. Yeah. <laughs> We're here and love to see them. Maybe they'll come, maybe not. It's like midday now, like the perfect sun to stay here. <laughs> and melt. And melt and burn, but I'm glad I have this on so I won't be that sunburned. Second try today, before we spent like two hours here drifting at the dinghy and didn't see any whales. And now it just came again. And we are drifting here again and no whales so far, but Maybe we're luckier this time. It requires patience. Patience, it's key. It's not like Seward, where you just, they show up for you. And you don't have too much gas to go chase them further out. So I have to stay here and try to, to have some luck. Diego and I, we've been talking and I feel really sad that he's feeling like this these days. He used to be so passionate about sailing, he loved it sailing and I, I, I'm sure he still loves it but I think he's just tired because this year we sailed so much, we've been to so many different places and it was really nice, it was amazing but also a bit tiring. I just feel like we've been to all these amazing and beautiful places and like incredibly beautiful, I wouldn't believe they existed but I'm sure like the next one are gonna be as beautiful as like the, and the other one and the other one and they are all so beautiful. And sometimes we kind of lose sensibility because we are just in the middle of such beautiful places. But also I feel that something more is missing and we've been discussing it and I think we just like need to get engaged a little more with community, with the locals just spend more time in places so we can get like uh, deeper relationships with people and now we're just gonna take a little slow to the end of the year just enjoy ourselves go back to our routines and we already set some goals for next year but i think it's really nice to have some goals to keep us motivated and we're gonna share with you in next episodes our plans for next year and we are pretty excited right now so I think that's what was missing for us and I think it's normal that at some point you just start questioning yourself and having some doubts and we're gonna keep sailing as long as it's nice and we are enjoying it, we are happy with our life but at, at if some point we're just like not having fun anymore so there's no point to keep doing it and we just love being on the boat, we just love being on the ocean and I think like if I go back to live on a city probably I would be happy for like two months and then I would just like think what have I done why did I change my boat life for this so I think we are not ready yet I don't know if we're gonna be someday but I don't want to go back to the rat race unfortunately it was not this time we swam with the waves but that's how nature is and we are sure that at some point we will have the privilege to swim with them Thanks for watching this video and if you enjoy our videos and would like to support our adventure, please become a patron or an apoyador and take the chance to come aboard.